Today's video is all about how to make a bed look luxurious in the cheapest and easiest way possible. I'm Sophia Lee. I'm a recent college graduate who is obsessed with turning her first apartment into a home. I'm taking you along with me and showing you my best decorating ideas, organization tips, and cleaning hacks so that you can make your apartment look Pinterest perfect while sticking to a budget. I'm here to help you turn your apartment into a place you will love. The first step in creating a luxurious looking bed is to start out with a fitted sheet. I think white looks the best. I just think like with hotels, hotels always use white and it's just easy to bleach if you get stains on it. So I get these white sheets from Amazon. It comes in this tight sheet set and then it also has a fitted sheet and pillow covers. I don't use the pillow covers, but it's really inexpensive. It's the Milani brand. They have a cult following and you can get it for like $28 or something insane, which is really good for sheets. So then once you have the fitted sheet down, you are going to get this sheet, which I don't even know what this is technically called but you lay it out and then you kind of just have to finick and play with it until it's laid out perfectly. So I just like to bring like each corner or each end up at the top, just like this. And then I come down here and I do the same thing. I mean, this isn't rocket science, so. I'm sure you can figure this out, but then you go like that. And then bring that up here. And then you just want to play with it until it's really, really tight. The tighter that you can get it, the better. Once it's laying completely flat like this, you're going to come down to the corner of your bed and you are going to go like that and then just swipe it down. So then this will be like super smooth and then you want to take this and then pull it and honestly no one's even going to see this so it really doesn't need to be like super perfect and I just shove it under like that and it just has that crisp edge. It is not perfect. I'm sure you could get it a little better than that. But then you go and tuck in this. And then once I get to the top over here, I fold this over. And you kind of have to play with it until you do the other side too. So I just do one side and then come and do the other side. And then I walk around the bed. So like at this point I have this side pretty much done. And then I walk around the bed and I just start shoving this around and like you don't need to do that that often because I only do this when I make my bed otherwise it stays pretty nicely made and then I repeat that process on this side okay this is where it gets easier so since that side's already tight it makes it a lot easier to get this side tight so then I just go like that I personally like folding it over I just think it looks more expensive and nicer and then you just tuck it in now that the sheet set is like fully laid and crisp and just looks really good this is where my tips and tricks come in to really make your bed look luxurious and i have a queen size bed and i use king size pillows so the king size pillows just make the bed look a lot more grand and then i get these silk they're not actually silk they're satin pillows from Amazon it's two for ten dollars they're so good and my favorite part about them is that they have this zipper back here so that you can zipper it shut and then you don't have like the pillow sticking out from the back side of it at all it just looks like that so pink size pillows I find my favorite pillows at Costco if you have a Costco deal and they were like super inexpensive so I just lay them out flat like this and then I go repeat on the other side. Now we're bringing the comforter in. This comforter is heavy, but what I do is, 
I gotta, this really is like a two person job. But once your bed's made, then you like don't ever really have to do this. So my trick for the comforter is I like the com my comforter to look extra fluffy and I get DMs on Instagram all the time about how I make my comforter look so fluffy, which one is just really nice, thank you. <laughs> my hair is all over. But I actually stick two comforter inserts inside of this. So in here, I have two comforters just sandwiched together. You can see at the top here. It's, here's one of them. I don't wanna mess it up too much because it's kind of a pain, but here's one and then where's the other one? Here's the other one. And that way it just looks really, really like, I don't know, it just looks fluffier and more hotel-like. People ask me all the time if it gets too hot. No, it doesn't get too hot. I mean, maybe it's a little hotter than normal, but I sleep in it every single night. I'm completely fine. Um, my boyfriend sleeps in it too, and he's completely fine. So um, that's just how I get the more fluffy look. And then my duvet cover is just from, the, it's like the Amazon Essentials one. So those are my two favorite ones, and I just lay this out really flat. I wash try to wash my sheets once a week this I do not wash once a week this is a pain so I probably wash it like twice a month maybe if that if we're being honest but then I just have that laid like that so then that's extra fluffy and crisp and then this is where it comes in like my really easy way to make my bed look super well done and have it only take me two seconds to make in the morning. So when I wake up in the morning, I just like straighten this comforter out, which takes me two seconds. And then I have these huge 26 by 26 inch pillows. And these are the best. So I get these inserts. Well, I get 26 by 26 inch inserts from the clearance section at Home Goods, And then I just like, the pillows can be so ugly, but I want to make sure that they're choppable. So that's like down throw pillows. Um, otherwise, apparently Ikea has them for like $10. So I would look there. They can get really expensive if you buy them from like Etsy or another brand. So that's kind of my tip on how I find them cheaper. And then these pillow covers are just from Amazon for like $6. So I just throw this back here and then I give it a good chop. I'm a pillow chopper. But that way I love these big pillows because then they cover like so much of my bed so even if my pillows aren't laid perfectly it still looks really really nice and if you don't like to chop your pillows then just don't chop your pillows i know some people don't like that i am a very big very big pillow chopper okay then i have this pillow right here that i just add in and the last thing that i do is i just have this blanket from home goods and i just have it laid and it doesn't even need to be laid nicely i have it laid kind of messy um i do wish it was bigger this is like the queen size if i had to do it again i would get the king size i just think this kind of looks too small but that's how you can get a luxurious looking bed for cheap also if you're in the market for a mattress my mattress is the best mattress in the world it was 260 dollars something insane from amazon and then I have a $75 mattress topper on top. Oh my god. It's like literally the best thing ever. It is so nice. And it's like the cheapest mattress combo you could get. So everything will be linked below. But this is how to make your bed look luxurious. This video showed you how to make a bed look luxurious. And basically the two things that you should take away from that is get king size pillows for your queen size bed. And use two comforters in your duvet insert so it looks extra fluffy i guess technically three because then also get the 26 by 26 inch pillows i just think that they make the bed look so much just look like you tried harder on it and in the morning you can just throw it together and it looks really good so if you want more decorating ideas organization tips and cleaning hacks follow me on instagram at by sophia lee or subscribe to my channel